Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our No Shot campaign where we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty permanent dark events with no single shot uh, that we're using, so no weapons whatsoever, plus um, no heavy weapons or grenades, explosives and the like. Um, only melee and psionics are allowed. Operation Red Smoke is upon us. We need to defend the Haven and we might uh, end up fighting against the Chosen, which is pretty unfortunate because I really, really, really don't want to fight him. It's a bad situation. Let's see what we can uh, do when we're, uh, when we're actually encountering him. So, if it would be the Chosen, then he would be immune to all melee damage. And maybe we should take the Psy Operators on this very mission, because I want to just get a feel for how difficult it is to get the guy down, right? If we were to take the two Psy Operatives with us... Hmm. Yeah, that would almost uh, that would almost be calculating that the guy would, would join, uh, join us 100%. Not sure if that really would happen, but there is a chance, of course. Okay, so Zirkum, 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 Zirkum. Yeah, it's that uh, setup that I uh, feel could beat it, certainly with the Psy Operators. But I want to make sure that the others get enough experience. Now, I think for now, I really want to test how strong the Chosen is. And we need upgraded Psy Amps on our team soon uh, anyway, so. Let's just get a feel for his power. Mind Shield Mimic Beacon. Mind Shield Mimic Beacon. All right. Um. Yeah, just in case. I think we are giving away the mind shield over here. Besides, fuck it, I don't think that we're. Oh, we don't even have two sacred corpses anymore. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I think those. The mind shield distribution is fine. Frontline needs mind shields, and then we're going to be okay. In terms of weapons, let's just make sure we're using the proper weapons here. By the way, it's not that we're going to use any of this. I just think once you do have the chosen weapons, might as well use them or not. Doesn't it really doesn't matter for this run? Okay, cool. So we got the axe, we got uh, the katana, and uh, the rest is fine, We're ready to go. If we need the chosen, I would like to see how well our sonic damage will do against his defense. We do have three sources of damage uh, th uh, then. Number one, um, the um, uh, both of the psionics with uh, two abilities. That's number one and two. And number three would be the um, uh, the Templar with uh, a Volt and potentially Combat Protocol as well. All right. Oops. Let's land. And surprisingly enough, we're not starting in cover. One of those chosen is leading Ooh. an assault on the resistance. In Very nice. In Guess what? Our people are doing what they can. Uh, they got back, weapons. We need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. They got weapons. That is exactly what we were looking for. Let's position. conceal. 
Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Rolling. And we can take a good look at the enemies. Grappling. Very good. There we go. Oh, that's the first pack. Moving to position. Let's move into position. I can cover it. We're moving closer without triggering anything. I hope it's worth it. Side operatives stick together. Solid copy. And sonar takes the back line. Moving out. Thanks for scanning protocol. We will be able to see if there are any uh, if there are any faceless ones. The answer is absolutely no. Good resistance. Of course, they start trouble with the first pack. Well, at least. They removed uh, the Spectre's cover. And eight points of damage is quite a quite a massive hit. Um, we want to keep uh, this guy. Well, it has a special ability, right? Yes, it does. Might as well take it for the special ability. Because we can use that very much so. Good, before we're killing uh, the guy, uh, let's charge in and soften up the specter. Good job. Moving up a tiny bit closer and softening it up further. I absolutely love Psy Operatives. They are so incredibly strong. It's the only thing in this run that does not feel like a paper version of the original class. These guys just can use all of their abilities freely and it shows. Building up focus. Okay, I, I should say the Templars are working fantastic as well. The Templars are always working fantastic, so that's not a big news. Okay, we're going to be careful here. I can hear steps over there. Kind of tells me that there is probably a mech. I'm not going to force anything on it. So let's just end the turn. Wouldn't be surprised if there is a mech right here. No, it's an Andromedon, but yeah, very similar. Cover the flanks. All right, are these mutants? Yeah. We're talking about mutants. Okay, fair enough. Oh, 
Very nice, that's quite a bit of damage. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, let's... Start with the teleportation, shall we? And I would like to teleport to... would like to teleport to here. Good. We know that these guys are over there. Well, let's uncover them, shall we? Besides, it would be absolutely fantastic to take over this guy here. Alright. Probably asking for a little bit too much. What we can do though is we can definitely put a stasis on him yeah and put then teamwork okay cool no problem before we do that though just found their hiding spot that's what i was looking for so that's a double weapon disabled and weapon disabled means these guys need to reload before they can do something hilarious Good, disoriented in parry, fantastic. Let's move over here. They will move out of there very soon. Question is, what are we going to do with them in the meantime? We got like one target here. And that's pretty much about it. So let's just stasis this guy here, move up, and wait for the mutants to come a little bit closer. Alright, moving up. Quickfeet moves into a very secure spot out of line of sight the only other person that can be seen is noxus here i'm going to give him nade protocol and yeah we're not going to use comet protocol potentially next turn for one of the mutants but not now Is really going to stay there. Commander, 
Advent is All right. backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Good, that guy is just standing there and will take the L automatically. Very good. Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. Good. How about... How about dealing some damage to them? Void Rift unfortunately does not deal enough, but this here would be a solid kill. I think that's pretty much worth it. There we go. Alright, kill. Once our once our uh, attack is upgraded, we are going to see more of that damage. Good time to start dealing some serious damage here. There we go. Nice little. Nice little beat down. Um, let's see. If we are, if we were going like over here. I'm having a hard time seeing how I can get in range for this guy. This world is ours. Let's get our uh, focus up completely. Moving closer to the next fighting zone. This here hopefully will flank him from behind. Might even kill him. Yep, very nice hit. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Good. More going back in. And finishing the shell right here. One more teleportation to scout ahead. And this should be a kill. Yep. Again, okay. moving first before we're actually going to do something so that we have uh, are already moving in the right direction. And then the extra damage against mechanical units just the does the rest. Alright, so far it's looking quite promising. Haven't seen the Chosen at all. And 
and he would have needed to appear, to appear by now. Uh, so him not being here means he's probably not going to join us, with, which then means it was a bit of a waste to have the Psyops here in the first place. The resistance operatives are cruel. Look at that. All right, straight out. Moving, moving, moving. I see the path. Getting it done. Will do. Double movement for all of our um, soldiers. Getting it done. All right. Go, go, go. And the faceless ones are showing. Not very threatening. They could run right to us and we would easily be able to overpower them. Those guys, on the other hand, are a bit... Pro oh, wow. Pres oh, wow. Presidents. Yeah, that's... That is a problem. Why don't you fucking run away from the chrysalids? Guys, are you... St okay, now they are clearly trolling. Trying to pull more and more enemies. Yep, get all of the berserkers. Bring them on, bring them on. Alright, that was the worst focus fire that they've done in ages. Good, we're going to take one of them out, just for now. And we're probably going to use some sort of Mimic Beacon. So this is go uh, getting ridiculous. How would they... Just charge uh, into the Chrysalids and ignore them afterwards. Oh yeah, come on. Charging in. And let's bring the remaining uh, remaining enemies. Alright, this will be a nice little showcase of how to fight against multipods. First of all, we gotta make sure that the chrysalids here are well inside. Secondly, let's get them all in one big nice bubble. Good, Zirkin. Free action, frostbite. Yes, please. He's frozen. 
free action. Move to here. All right, Void Rift. Now we got uh, Inspire and Inspire is better than that. Let's hit both of the chrysalids. Good job, that was a pretty solid hit. We're moving into line of sight, like here. We're then going to inspire. I give you strength. There we go. And we're going to take from the other side. That way the wave will kill the other chrysalid. Good, so two chrysalids done here. Let's for now wait before we're parrying. Quick feet could be the one throwing the mimic beacon. Moving to position. What's over there? All right, moving over. We're not parrying yet. We're instead moving to here. That allows us for another Inspire. That again will allow for a solid kill to one of the chrysalids and two injuries. All right. Good, very good. Move back. So we got the mimic beacon. Kill the Berserk. And with that, let's place a Mimic Beacon right here so that hopefully the Chrysalids will go after it. We built a nice little kill zone, pretty, uh, pretty much central here. Shadowbound doesn't work on Mimic Beacons, so you F that up, buddy. Uh, the gun, on the other hand, works quite well on Mimic Beacons. Berserkers really don't care about Mimic Beacons. And we got our good folks from the resistance for some payback time. Oh, 
almost feels like they are spreading their love out uh, through all of the enemies. They are focus firing, but only for one round. This here should potentially kill two of them and injure two further. Yep, that's a pretty good hit. All right, we can hit more if we're just moving away which i think is a reasonable thing to do let's move to here time for a nice little void rift killing two Moving up, moving in, moving through, and killing. Very nice. Getting out of line of sight. Let's get the Berserk. Pretty solid hit. I think we can finish the Berserk. There we go. Target down. And finally got his promotion. There now. Moving up. All right, I'll go. Moving further up. And we can't fully reach this guy, but almost. That's pretty much the end of uh, this turn. Good enough. Alright, there is only one more <coughs> Spectre. And probably one more face, this one. Those guys are hitting quite well. I mean, he's in full cover from some of the angles. And the moment that I mention it, of course, they stop hitting at all. Yeah, okay. Let's get the Spectre. Problem solved. I don't know, guys. I was hoping for the Chosen, but it was a good mission nonetheless. A lot of fun. Specifically, the last fight was pretty intense. All right, and back. Just wiped the fog with them and even got two promotions. Nice. Uh, I think we're going to go for Iconic Storm again, yes. I'm not going to put more points into her. Those sweet, sweet APs are reserved for Hogbite. Blade Storm finally for Zirkim as well. And yeah, we got 15 rescued civilians, that Excellent is work, immense. Commander. 50 Your supplies on top. To bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Cool, very good. That was a nice little knock that we had with them. Intel, six days, no thank you. Because as we know by now, the Intel reward Avenger is smaller than if you would uh, just scan. 
or scanning can be interrupted at any time without a disadvantage. If you ask me, these Templars are just as crazy as my brother. Good, new research. Let's continue with the weapon research. I still hope for a couple of breakthroughs. I don't know if melee weapons can get a plus one damage breakthrough, but technically I suppose yes. Nullens. Oh my gosh, that's what we were looking for. Good. Very good. Good. Not much is happening. It's going relatively smooth at this point. Because we've conquered a lot. Um, yeah, power upgrade, relay 50% breakthrough. I've never understood that one. This is something that could happen at the very beginning of the game, but not that late in, in the game. Pretty much useless at this point. Brings us to the use the slot down here. I wish we could place something else in there. I wish we could place something else in there. Got ourselves a bit of avatar progress reduction. Fantastic. Let's see what else we got. Continuing to hunt the Chosen, I think that's a good idea. None of the other things really gives a lot of uh, dodge. Well, wait a second, facility lead gives a lot of dodge, but 10 days is pretty long. Plus one resistance contact isn't bad, but the rider e award isn't so good. This one I'm, I'm having the, t uh, I'm eyeing that one to be honest because we have a we have just a few ability points and increasing them could be helpful but yeah let's do the uh, things that we need to do first hogbite gets the mobility upgrade roby helps him and so that they're not getting captured, let's put Judge on it as well. There's an ambush, which would mean nothing for us at this point. And a little bit of wounding chance, but yeah. My kind will do whatever is needed. Getting more influence and uh, figuring out where the hunter is uh, would certainly help us. And we got a couple of new missions. Ah, that one is nasty. Only soldiers of sergeant rank or lower are allowed on this mission. Hmm. I think we can't really do that because we don't have enough so um, available soldiers that are of a low rank. So sealed armor would go through, which stings. The weaknesses aren't that bad. If he would not suffer from weaknesses, that would be what? Explosions, we cannot use that anyways. And skirmishers, eh, arguably um, not bad as well. So let's take a look. The other one is a hidden event. And we're looking at... I was hoping that we would, that we would get and um, a big fat eyeball a gatekeeper so that we can make an autopsy on him protect the device i don't feel like protecting a device so it's probably going to be the sabotage of the transmitter and getting the hidden event that means we're going to run into make hole that is okay and unfortunately the side trip here prevents us from doing it because I really would have liked to do that. Um, we even could train soldiers to be on uh, sergeant rank, but I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that we would need to do that right now. But yeah, that is definitely one of the side trips that we cannot deal with at this point. 
but it is a seldom one so I don't think that we need to do anything about it. We could of course recruit a couple of additional recruits and then start um, putting them in the guerrilla tactic school. Let me just double check something real quick. Any recruits training in the GTS will achieve the rank of a sergeant automatically. Yeah, but that requires them to train first and that takes 10 days. So nothing, nothing that we can do right now. It is an interesting thought uh, process though, because we could theoretically train a few more recruits. And speaking about which before kind of uh, recruiting ends, let's just purchase a few recruits because we wanted additional Psy operators as well. Which of these guys were pre-generated characters? I don't know all of the names because they don't never show the aliases. My Bravo is definitely one of ours, so let's get him in the team. Uh, Roland Washington, I'm not sure. I think he was one. Damn it, so many recruits. This is hilarious. I'm not sure if I designed that, probably not. But yeah, he's recruited because he has a nice little face mask. Do we have anyone else from the character pool or did all of the good guys already die? Problem is with so many recruits, it takes a long time to go through them. Oh yeah, here, John McDonald. That is definitely uh, one of our characters from the character pool. I would suspect Roland Washington was one as well. And we got four recruits. Let's get a few more. So that we have one low level team. Abdullah here. Right, I think the others are just normal rookies, to be honest. That's number six. The guy with the hat comes in. And last but not least, yeah, this is too ridiculous even for my playthroughs. Good, we're going to go with the guy who looks like an 80s porn star with a cigarette in his mouth. Okay, cool. So that brings us to like what? Six rookies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I uh, gave it a little bit too much. And cool. Hats uh, indeed was one of our um, pre generated characters. We got Hunk uh, with us. Fantastic. Welcome, buddy. We got XQS6 from our last run. And we got Mike the Public Bravo. Cool. So, some of them might become uh, Psy operatives, others will uh, become rangers and uh, specialists. Let's just start the training here. Mike Bravo, yes, I'm the ranger, there you go. Takes 10 days and then he'll eventually be a sergeant right away. Which is cool, so slowly but surely we're, uh, we're going to train um, a team of low-level 
uh, sergeants so that we can deal with those side trips. Other than that, that brings us to the end of today's mission. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy the content, as always, leave a comment or a like down below. And uh, don't forget to tune in the next time. Bye bye.